Dante's Fifth Circle of Hell, reserved for the wrathful and the sullen, is a profound exploration of anger and its consequences. Here, Dante's allegory takes a particularly vivid turn, immersing the souls in the muddy waters of the river Styx, where they either violently attack one another or lie submerged beneath the surface, silently stewing in their own bitterness. This depiction of anger, both expressed and suppressed, serves as a powerful metaphor for the destructive potential of wrath when left unchecked. Through Dante's lens, anger is both an outwardly explosive force and an internal, corrosive weight. In Dante's time, emotions such as wrath were seen as moral failings, dangers to both individual souls and the social order. Medieval theology, heavily influenced by the teachings of St. Augustine and Aquinas, viewed wrath as a sin because it represented a loss of rational control and an abandonment of divine law. In Dante's Inferno, wrath manifests in two forms, those who lash out and those who simmer internally. For both groups, the punishment is fitting. The wrathful thrash about in a futile battle, symbolizing the way uncontrolled rage consumes the person, the sullen, submerged beneath the sticks, reflect the silent poison of repressed anger. Historically, Dante's era was a violent one, where feuds and vendettas were common among families and political factions, including Dante's own bitter conflict with the Guelphs and Ghibellines in Florence. Dante's inclusion of wrath in his hellscape reflects both his personal experiences and the broader cultural fears about anger leading to chaos. Modern psychology offers fascinating insights into Dante's vision. Wrath, in today's terms, is recognized as a natural emotion, but one that becomes toxic when not managed properly. According to a study published by the American Psychological Association, APA, in 2018, chronic anger is linked to numerous health problems, including cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, and increased risk of stroke. Dante's portrayal of the sullen submerged in the sticks might seem to foreshadow this. The unresolved, bottled-up anger slowly suffocates, much like how long-term resentment eats away at a person's health and well-being. Philosophers have long debated the role of anger in human life. Aristotle, in the Nicomachean Ethics, argued that anger is a natural emotion that, when used correctly, can serve as a force for justice. However, he emphasized the importance of controlling and directing it wisely, something Dante's wrathful sinners failed to do. They have succumbed to their fury, becoming trapped in an eternal loop of frustration. On the other hand, the sullen represent the opposite extreme, a total suppression of emotion, where anger is buried so deeply that it becomes a passive resentment. This aligns with the ideas of 20th century existentialists like Jean-Paul Sartre, who saw inaction in the face of anger as a denial of one's authenticity. For Sartre, both extremes, violent outbursts and stifled bitterness, are forms of bad faith, where individuals fail to confront their emotions in a healthy, rational way. Dante's Fifth Circle offers valuable practical wisdom. We've all experienced anger at some point, whether it's a burst of frustration in traffic or a long-held grudge against a friend or colleague. Common sense tells us that neither extreme, explosive wrath nor deep-seated resentment, leads to happiness. Modern conflict resolution strategies encourage healthy outlets for anger, such as open communication and emotional regulation, something Dante's sinners could have benefited from. I once knew a colleague who, despite her calm demeanor, harbored a quiet resentment against another team member. It simmered for years, unspoken but felt in every interaction. Eventually, the tension became unbearable, leading to an explosive confrontation that damaged their relationship permanently. In that moment, the lesson of Dante's fifth circle became crystal clear. Unresolved anger, whether expressed in rage or buried in silence, ultimately consumes both the person who holds it and those around them. Dante's fifth circle of hell serves as an enduring allegory for the dangers of unchecked anger, whether outwardly violent or inwardly festering. The wrathful souls thrashing in the sticks and the sullen submerged beneath it offer a timeless warning about the destructive power of rage. In a world where anger still fuels conflict, both personal and global, Dante's vision remains as relevant as ever. His portrayal of wrath and sullenness encourages us to seek balance, to acknowledge our anger, but to control it before it controls us.